early warning signs that the narcissist wishes to return. Have you ever felt the sinking feeling of a dark shadow looming over you, threatening to engulf your hard-won peace and freedom? That's the dreadful sensation of a narcissist trying to slither their way back into your life, a toxic force hell-bent on regaining control and draining you of your essence. In this video, we'll explore the early warning signs that a narcissist is plotting their grand re-entrance into your world. We'll arm you with the knowledge to recognize their devious tactics and the tools to slam the door shut, keeping them out for good. So buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey through the twisted mind of the narcissist, unraveling their sinister ploys and empowering you to maintain your hard-earned freedom. Before we dive in, I want to encourage all of you to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. We'll be exploring more depths of the narcissistic psyche and sharing invaluable strategies to help you navigate these treacherous waters. Together, we'll build a community of resilience, ensuring that no one falls victim to these emotional vampires ever again. The Narcissist's Social Media Stalking – Sleuthing for a Way Back In In the digital age, social media has become the narcissist's playground, a virtual hunting ground where they can stalk and gather intel on their prey. Like a ravenous wolf sniffing for a weakness in the herd, the narcissist will scour your online presence, looking for any vulnerability they can exploit. Imagine a scenario where a jilted ex-partner suddenly starts liking and commenting on your old Instagram photos, leaving breadcrumbs of feigned interest and fox concern. You look so happy here, they might comment, their words dripping with a false sense of nostalgia and longing. Or perhaps a former friend creates a fake account, using an alias to lurk in the shadows, monitoring your every move and waiting for the perfect moment to pounce. It's a twisted game of cat and mouse, where you're the unwitting prey, unaware of the predator's watchful gaze. The Sympathy Trap – Manipulation Through Pseudo-Vulnerability When the narcissist senses that their social media stalking is not yielding the desired results, they'll resort to more direct tactics, the sympathy trap. Like a skilled puppeteer, they'll pull on your heartstrings, weaving a tale of woe and desperation, all in a bid to lure you back into their web of manipulation. Imagine receiving a late-night call from a narcissistic ex, their voice quivering with feigned vulnerability. I know I don't deserve your kindness, they might say, but I've been going through a really tough time and you're the only one I can turn to. Or perhaps a former colleague sends you a lengthy email detailing a fabricated health crisis or personal tragedy, playing on your empathy and compassion to forge a connection they can exploit. It's a despicable ploy, a twisted game of emotional blackmail designed to awaken your nurturing instincts and make you feel guilty for denying them your support. But remember, the narcissist's tears are crocodile tears, their vulnerability a carefully crafted fey aid to manipulate and control. The non-apology apology, feigning closure to regain access. In a moment of desperation, the narcissist may attempt to lure you back with the illusion of closure, a seemingly heartfelt apology laced with excuses and deflection. It's a twisted game of, I'm sorry, but designed to make you lower your defenses and open the door to their manipulation once more. Imagine receiving a lengthy email from a former boss filled with flowery language and half-hearted mea culpas. I know I was a difficult person to work with, they might say, but it was the stress of the job and I never meant to take it out on you. Or perhaps a narcissistic parent sends you a handwritten letter painting themselves as the victim and blaming their toxic behavior on their own troubled upbringing. I'm sorry for the way things turned out, they might write, but you have to understand, my parents did the same to me. It's a master class in deflection and gaslighting, a twisted game of shifting blame and avoiding true accountability. And while the narcissist may feign a desire for closure, their true motive is to regain access to your life, to reopen the door they desperately want to walk through. The surprise ambush, unexpected encounters, and unwanted advances. When all else fails, the narcissist may resort to the most brazen tactic of all the surprise ambush. Like a predator lying in wait, they'll strategically position themselves in your path, forcing an unexpected encounter and attempting to catch you off guard. Imagine heading to your favorite coffee shop, only to be greeted by the sight of a narcissistic ex lounging at a table, their eyes lighting up with calculated glee as they spot you. Fancy seeing you here, they might purr, their words laced with a sinister undertone of possession and entitlement. Or perhaps you're out running errands when a former friend suddenly appears, blocking your path and launching into a barrage of unwanted compliments and attempts at small talk. You're looking amazing these days, they might croon, their eyes roaming over you with a predatory hunger. It's a twisted game of boundary violation and power play, designed to catch you off balance and force a reaction. 
And while your instinct may be to flee or freeze, remember that the narcissist thrives on any emotional response, be it anger, fear, or surprise. The Hoovering Hurricane, when desperation fuels the narcissist's frenzy. When all other tactics have failed, the narcissist may unleash a veritable hurricane of hoovering attempts, a frenzied onslaught designed to overwhelm your defenses and suck you back into their toxic vortex. Like a raging storm, their desperation will fuel increasingly erratic and extreme behavior, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. Imagine a scenario where a former romantic partner, having exhausted all other avenues, begins a relentless bombardment of calls, texts, and emails, each one more unhinged than the last. One minute, they may be showering you with flowery declarations of undying love, the next, unleashing a torrent of vitriol and threats, accusing you of cruelty and betrayal. Or perhaps a narcissistic family member, sensing their grip on your life slipping away, launches a full-scale assault on your boundaries, showing up unannounced at your home or workplace, demanding an audience, and refusing to leave until you acquiesce to their demands. It's a twisted game of emotional terrorism, a calculated campaign of psychological warfare designed to break you down and force you to surrender to their will. And like any hurricane, the longer it rages, the more devastating the damage it inflicts. But remember, this is not a sign of the narcissist's power or devotion it is a desperate, flailing attempt to regain control, born of a pathological fear of abandonment and a craving for validation. By recognizing the hurricane for what it is, a tempest of toxicity fueled by their own insecurities, you can remain steadfast in your resolve, weathering the storm and emerging stronger on the other side. The Extinction Burst, the narcissist's last gasp for survival. When all else fails, and the narcissist realizes that their hoovering attempts are futile, they may resort to one final, desperate gambit, the extinction burst. Like a cornered animal lashing out in a last-ditch effort for survival, the narcissist will unleash a torrent of extreme behavior, a final, frenzied attempt to regain control and elicit a reaction. Imagine a scenario where a former friend, having tried every trick in the book to worm their way back into your life, suddenly turns their attention to those closest to you. They may launch a vicious smear campaign, spreading malicious rumors and lies in a bid to turn your loved ones against you, isolating you, and creating a sense of desperation that they can exploit. Or perhaps a narcissistic ex-partner, sensing their grip on your life slipping away, resorts to extreme measures such as stalking, harassment, or even threats of violence, desperate to instill fear and regain their sense of power and control. It's a twisted game of psychological warfare, a final, scorched earth tactic designed to break you down and force you back into submission. But remember, this is not a sign of the narcissist's strength. It is the death throes of their delusion, a desperate attempt to cling to their false sense of superiority and avoid the ultimate narcissistic injury, complete and utter abandonment. In these moments, it is crucial to remain steadfast in your resolve, to surround yourself with a strong support system, and to take whatever legal or safety measures are necessary to protect yourself and your loved ones. For the extinction burst, like any other narcissistic tactic, is fueled by your reaction, and by denying them the supply they crave, you can weather the storm and emerge victorious, free from their toxic influence forever. The Flying Monkey Brigade, recruiting allies for their twisted agenda. In the narcissist's twisted game of manipulation, they'll often enlist the aid of flying monkeys enablers and unwitting accomplices who do their bidding, wittingly or unwittingly. These flying monkeys may be friends, family members, or even complete strangers, all recruited to serve as extensions of the narcissist's reach and influence. Imagine receiving a call from a well-meaning friend or relative, urging you to hear them out and give them another chance. Little do they know, they're mere pawns in the narcissist's twisted game, being used to soften your defenses and create a sense of social pressure to reconnect. Or perhaps a complete stranger approaches you in a public setting, claiming to be a mutual acquaintance of the narcissist, carrying a message or a plea for reconciliation. It's a twisted game of deception and manipulation, using unsuspecting bystanders as unwitting accomplices in their toxic agenda. But remember, the flying monkeys are merely pawns in the narcissist's game. Their words and actions are guided by the master puppeteer, the narcissist themselves, who will stop at nothing to regain control and access to your life. In the twisted game of narcissistic manipulation, forewarned is forearmed. By recognizing the early warning signs and decoding the narcissist's tactics, you can maintain your hard-won freedom and protect yourself from their toxic influence. Remember, the narcissist's attempts to reconnect are never driven by genuine remorse or a desire for healthy reconciliation. 
They are merely desperate ploys to regain control, to feed their insatiable hunger for supply and validation. So stay vigilant, trust your instincts, and never allow the narcissist back into your life, no matter how convincing their tactics may seem. Your peace, your happiness, and your self-worth are far too precious to be sacrificed at the altar of their toxicity. And to ensure you never fall victim to these twisted games again, I urge you to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Together, we'll continue to explore the depths of the narcissistic psyche, arming you with the knowledge and strategies to maintain your boundaries and live a life free from their manipulation. Remember, you are not a pawn in their game. You are a powerful, resilient individual deserving of love, respect, and authentic connection. Embrace your strength and never let the narcissist's twisted agenda dim your light again.